watching. In this video I just wanted to do a bit of gameplay with Fallout New Vegas. Now I'm using my updated multi-core and threading fix and what this does is it gives you smoother gameplay, faster load times, higher FPS, it enhances the overall games quality and basically eliminates your crashes. Now I am also using my reshade and sweet effects in order to enhance the overall look of the game and I'll first show you that. I'll just turn off the effects and as you can see the colors look a little flat and the, the actual game detailing isn't really showing through very well and I'll turn that back on so now we're getting a really nice and sharp look to the game and the lighting and the actual area around us is really sharp and I will leave a link in order to download that if you'd like to try it out and as far as my multi-core threading fix as I said, I recently updated some of the information in the INIs and what you want to do is when you install it and set up your hardware is actually turn off your VSync in your hardware settings in order for your FPS to unlock so that you'll get the highest FPS possible. Now I'm running it in 4K right now and I actually have my brightness level just turned up a little bit here I'll just show you in my settings and sorry I'll just show you here now I do have my brightness up just a bit to kind of bring up my shadows from the reshade and sweet effects but with the multi-core and threading fix it should basically eliminate any stutters that you experience or any crashes in the game that you may experience now of course mod conflicts can cause crashes and that's just something that if you're adding mods you would just double check your mods and such but this should basically eliminate any of those problems that the game normally has and I'll just show you here the faster load times now when first entering a building and it's loading into the game it will take a few moments but once the areas have loaded your load time should go right down to almost instant and as you can see I'm just going back and forth here those areas have been loaded into the game now and I'm using the sprint mod also so that I can sprint in the game which is quite a useful mod that uses your attack power in the shift key to enable sprint in the game but I'll just kind of walk around here and I'll just go into a few buildings and then I'll show you some fast traveling and such so again this is a new building I'm entering so it took a few seconds just to enter the building but now that I've gone into the building and it's loaded into the game it's almost instant and you should really notice a vast improvement in the game's performance right away after actually adding the multi-core and threading fix. Now I am also using the script extender with the added 4 gigabyte to that and there are notes on the multi-core threading fix if you'd like to add the script extender and if you wanted to use the sprint mod you would actually have to use the script extender in order to use that so again I'll just go into another building here and as you can see that was fairly quick and now it's basically instant going back and forth there's no delay whatsoever now as far as your fast travel times I'll just go to the world map here and we'll travel to a few locations I'll go to the Good Spring source here. Now as you can see that took a few seconds but we'll just head back and just go to Good Springs here and again this will take a few seconds and then once those areas are loaded then you should find that the load times actually go down. 
So there, it was just a few seconds. Now, when you are fast traveling in larger areas and open spaces, then the actual load time will take a few seconds longer. But as you saw with smaller buildings and such, it's almost instant. And depending on the speed of your computer, will also affect your load times. So I'll just head back here. Now the INIs for the multi-core and threading fix, if you'd like to look over the changes, just check on the mod. There is a readme that actually comes with the mod that has all the various lines that I've made changes to. And all of them are basically to improve the overall performance of the game and eliminate any of those problems that the game would normally have, such as crashing or um, performance issues, stuttering, things like that. And you shouldn't need a lot of extra mods. This can be added to a vanilla game and should just about fix any of the issues so that you can actually enjoy the game without any of those random crashes that kind of break the atmosphere of your game. Now here is... Oh. Hi. Good to see you. This is actually another mod that I have, the Nevada Mystery Man. He's a custom NPC here in Good Springs and he does have a full set of quests as well you can get a custom weapon from him and he does also award Good Spring reputation points for completing quests as he's part of the Good Spring community and he is actually integrated into the lore of the game and into several of the vanilla locations where there's certain things that were there but there was really no backstory to them so I created a mod which incorporated those vanilla areas in the game and gave them kind of a reason for actually being in the game so that you have a storyline. So if you're interested just check my profile and again that's the Nevada Mystery Man. Now as you can see I haven't had any lag issues whatsoever, any stutters. Now my FPS unfortunately you can't see my FPS right now but I am running up to about 75 and that's in 4k now if you do run the game in 4k as I said just make sure to turn off your vsync and that way you will get the highest FPS available to you for your hardware now if I was to run it in 1920 by 1080 I usually run about 120 to 130 FPS so it really does make a major difference in the actual game the game performance and I'll just kind of walk around here or actually sprint and we'll just kind of take a look around and see what's going on here now again as I said I am using my reshade with sweet effects and that's why I actually have my brightness level up is just to kind of bring up the shadows but as you can see you get some really nice detailing and the light and shadows are coming through quite nicely and the colorations in the game, the base colorations are all coming through nicely and I'll turn it off for a second here and as you can see the game still looks nice in 4K but it does look kind of pale looking and the colors themselves are a little bit flat and this is just meant to bring out those base colors and the actual definition in the game so it's not a texture mod it's actual it's actually a graphic enhancement so if you want to add anything to the game to improve the textures then you'll find that this will actually improve the overall look of those texture packs also now I'll just go down here I don't really want to get it into a fight but I will show you my weapon here now your reload speeds and such should be really quick and you should be able to use your weapons without any problems and as you can see my firing rate is quite nice and I'll just reload and no problems there 
and I'll just kind of have a bit of a walk around here we'll just head over to this cabin here and again this is a new location that I just discovered here and we'll enter into the building so as you can see that only took a second and now it's basically instant so you should really notice a really big difference in your loading times as well as your fast travel times and the overall FPS rate should be really good for you as long as you turn off that V-Sync you should be able to if you have really good hardware get over 100 FPS or higher depending on your resolution and what your computer can handle and this runs fine in the 4k setting as you can see now I'm just gonna fast travel back here to Good Springs and I'll just actually talk to a character here so we can kind of just see now I am using hey. MTUI which uh -huh. allows me to resize my text in game so that you actually get a better look to the text and I do also have a link to that mod on my multi-core and threading fix if you want to check that out now the character interaction should be really smooth you shouldn't notice any problems and as you can see my reshade and sweet effects really helps to actually bring out their appearance and I'll just say goodbye to easy yep. Pete here and I'll just head into the bar now that took a few seconds but I'll head back out and once again this area has loaded in and it's basically instant now that it's loaded into the game so that's what you should really expect as far as performance and the way the game runs using the multi-core threading fix and that really is a standalone fix you don't really need a lot of other mods for performance once you actually use that mod and you'll find that basically things like um, using stutter remover or other things like that won't be required so you'll be able to cut down a lot on those performance mods as this should basically take care of everything in the game and again you should notice a major difference in the game's performance almost immediately once you actually use that alright so I'm just gonna finish up this video and I hope you've enjoyed my video if there are any questions please leave them in the comments below and as I said I will leave links to the mods that I mentioned and I I have basically full information for anything that you may need on top of the actual multi-core and threading fix so thanks a lot for watching take care and I'll talk to you again